Albert Einstein, a peaceful, humble, down-to-earth, genius German physicist and winner of the Nobel Peace Prize, with the life filled with mathematic and scientific accomplishments and advances. Most don't associate him with the atomic bomb. Many aren't aware that it was Einstein's famous theory of E equals MC squared that led to the creation of the device that would go on to destroy cities and populations. Born in 1876 in Germany, Einstein was a slow learner and disliked school. Well, one would assume that a genius such as Einstein must have always had a thirst for knowledge and been very smart at a young age, when the fact is, Einstein wasn't able to talk fluently until he turned 12. He always very much disliked schooling because he was always more inspired by creativity, and this factor in him led to his great discoveries. As a young pacifist in his hometown, he tried to avoid the many parades of soldiers marching around. Well, Einstein later moved out from Germany since he was never really interested in soldier or war-related activities, and he went back to the United States to research and for experiments, but he later traveled back to Germany to continue his study. In 1914, the physicist returned to Germany and turned to political ideas of Zionism. So when he arrived in Germany, he found that the country had become very anti-Semitic and he never really been verbally abused before, but now he was just because he was a Jew. and. So he turned to this idea of Zionism, because a Zionist wanted a, a peaceful homeland for the Jews, and Einstein had always considered himself to be a pacifist. At the time, Hitler and Nazis had complete control over German political life. Einstein fled to New Jersey. Einstein was horrified at the persecution of the Jews, and thankfully he fled the country just in time. Um, when he was in the United States, he heard news of Nazis invading Czechoslovakia, which he knew was a uranium minefield. Then he found out that these Nazis had forbid the export of uranium, and he saw this as a chance to take action. In 1939, just before the outbreak of the Second World War, Einstein's former colleague and research partner, Leo Gillard, came to Einstein and urged him to make a move that would go against his pacifist ideals. Einstein agreed, and a letter was sent to President Roosevelt informing him of potential extremely powerful bombs of a new type being built by Nazis. Well, Einstein was worried about the advances of the German scientists, and he was afraid that the Nazis were onto something called nuclear fission, which is the splitting of atoms. He knew that if they got a hold of this process, they would be able to release tremendous amounts of energy. He knew that if the Nazis harnessed atomic power, they would drop destructive atomic bombs. In the letter, Einstein advised the U.S. start their own atomic research project, and he even encouraged President Roosevelt to buy supplies of uranium from the Belgian Congo. He suggested the Manhattan Project. So the Manhattan Project's goal was to see if an atomic chain reaction was possible. Now, Albert Einstein wasn't a nuclear physicist, so he didn't work directly on it, but the project used his theory of E equals MC squared. E equals MC squared, in which energy is part equal to mass multiplied with the square of the velocity of light, showed that very small amount of mass may be converted into a very large amount of energy. It was used as a basis and a sort of source of inspiration. And because of this, the project was a success.
the first atomic bomb was created. A little too late, Einstein realized that a bomb was not the solution and came to resent his letter. He found out that Germany hadn't even made much progress with the bomb and this just added to his regret. Quickly, he wrote another letter to President Roosevelt begging him not to drop an atomic bomb on Japan because this was a plan he'd been hearing of. However, Roosevelt died before he ever received the letter. President Truman took office and got a hold of the first letter. He took Gillard and Einstein's words to close consideration and in 1945 organized for the atomic bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, hoping to quickly end the war. Einstein grew disappointed in both Truman and himself. He forever regretted his lapse of peaceful judgment from the day he had rushed to conclusions and sent his alarming words of warning to the president. Five months before his death, he made public his feelings towards the incident. Einstein wasn't directly involved in the actual creation of the bomb, but because he had been the one to suggest it, and because the project used his basis of the theory E equals mc squared, and because Einstein was the one to sign the letter written to Roosevelt, he has been given the nickname Father of the Atomic Bomb. <laughs>